guys, it is Final Geister here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a typewriter effect, or maybe like a typing effect in After Effects, CS6, Adobe, yeah. So this is what we are going to end up with, let me so show you. Yeah, and uh, I'll have the link for the sounds, I actually made them myself, because I have a mechanical keyboard, and I made the clicking sounds. So, yeah, this is basically what we are going to end up with. So, close that down, and, um, yeah, first thing you gotta do is open After Effects. <coughs> Let's just wait for that to open. Come on. Okay, so now what you are going to do is click Composition, New Composition, and, um, we could... Mm, well, I guess sh maybe I, know, I can maybe change this to 1080. Oh no 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 no. Uh, that's how you do it. Okay, so just click OK, and um, now you'll have a back black background, and uh, now I'll click Layer, uh, New, Solid, and um, I am just going to use this background. Here's the color code for it: E92525. Okay, so click OK there, and you'll have the awesome background, yeah. So click the text tool up here, and uh, click once on the screen to type in. Okay, no, no, no. Click once on the screen to get this little thing up. Yeah, I think you can see it. Okay, so what you are going to do now, you are going to write in what you want to. So let's write in Final Gazer. Oh, you know what? We could probably just type in final, actually, because it's much shorter, and the way I do it, uh, it takes a lot of time, actually. <laughs> but you, I'm probably going to update this tutorial later on, but uh, not now. And if you want to make your text bigger uh, while dragging stuff, do not lose the shape of it. Hold down shift, and if you want it to make be made from the middle, oh, wait a bit. Then hold down... what? Why isn't it working? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Okay, so... As you see, I just turned on, like, title action to see if you can find it down here. Now let's turn it off again, because I've positioned my text. And now what you are going to do, you are going to make sure you have a nice color. Uh... Wait, let me see what color this is going to be. How do I change that? I forgot to... I mean, I forgot how to. Um, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 now I remember. Okay, so make sure you have selected nothing. And, uh, yeah, fill. Ugh, damn me, I just forgot about it. Uh, damn it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I could have forgotten about that. Okay, whatever. Okay, so now that you've done that, you'll have this little kind of thingy here, as you saw in the preview. And, um, <coughs> uh, yeah, now you're going to click down on the text and click Animate Opacity. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, what was it again? Uh, range Selector? Yeah. Range selector and click down on advanced, set the smoothness to zero, and then you can take that up again. Okay, so we're going to change the offset to just have it on zero actually. Okay, so we're going to click the little timer there and now drag forward until you probably are done writing. About there, maybe. Um, I don't know if this is going to be. All right, but yeah, it's still going to be a typing effect. You can change whatever you want. And now drag it up to 100. And now let's play through it. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. I forgot to set the opacity to zero. There we go. Okay, that's good. You can see that it types in like that. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're actually going to move this to when it makes a new letter. I'm I'm actually gonna show you actually. Um click down on transform and 
Now what we're going to do is change the position and make sure you use the one at the left, not the one at the right, because that turns it downwards. And um, just uh oh wait, I miss set it there to the start. Okay. <laughs> um, now you can use your keys or this little thingy here or these, but I'm just going to use my keys on the keyboard. I'm using page down and page up to change, um, yeah. Page up is backwards and page down is forwards, by the way. And make sure you have selected the right frame. Oh fuck, what did I do? Mm. I probably... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wait, let me turn on preview again. What happened? Wait. At home. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm really sorry. So let me just find out precisely where the letter starts. And uh, now we're going to click the timer on the position. And make sure you're at the s oh. F make sure you're at the start and click the timer. And now we're basically just going to uh, oh no. Find out where it begins. There we go. And now, just move this by using the little position thingy. And uh, as you see, it's over there now. Okay, so now let's find when the other letter shows up. Yep, there it is. Now make it go longer and uh, find out where the. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what. That's basically what you can do. It's probably something easier um, tutorials on this, but it's my way of doing it. At least. And uh, I will show you how to make a really cool intro with this. Oh, because a lot of people will make intros with like typing, and then this one turns downwards and it makes the text disappear, like when it goes up. And that is totally awesome, I'll have to say. So yeah, this is basically what you do, and uh, I'm sure you understand it. But uh, I'm actually just going to continue doing this until I'm done, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah it's done already. So, <laughs> what we're going to do now, we're going to click the preview button. And you'll have this, but um, we're not done yet. We need to add in the sounds. Okie dokie. Let me just uh, find my sounds. It's in the folder sound effects because I'm too dumb to freaking find it. And there I have three sounds. I I can make more if you ask nicely. Okay, so what you're going to do now? We're going to drag down the first one and uh, just put it down there. And uh, we're gonna make sure it's uh, like starts when the first letter comes up. So, oh, uh, just turn the, take this downwards to about seven seconds. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and now that you, when you've done that, we're just gonna, yeah, it's basically the same. Uh, it's basically the same thing as you did with this one. You just like time it to it or stuff, whatever it's called. But you probably understand it now, and uh, I'm just gonna continue until I'm done, actually. Because it's pretty easy. Wait. Yeah. Okay, uh, now we're just gonna copy all of these. And uh, basically make the first one go there. Okay, we can delete the last one up here. Oh no, delete. No. <laughs> button. Um. There it is. Okay. <laughs> and you hear the like sound, and it's really awesome effect. I'll have to say, I really love it. Um. <laughs> so. Uh. Yeah. That's it. Goodbye, people. See you next time. Hehe. <laughs>